brain is so complicated and so amazing. Perception, memory. Language. General intelligence, single shot learning. Brain diseases. The mind. We're dealing with something that is so challenging that there's always going to be this looming background that's very unknown. We're trying to carve out a sort of channel to shine a light through that and move forward. When you walk into the Chan building, you want to sit down and talk to someone about science. This 150,000 square foot building has been completed in three years, record time for a building of that size. It brings together so many different elements of what is great about Caltech. First off, it's beautiful. It's a real jewel. Multiple levels of floor to ceiling windows. Space for laboratories, teaching laboratories, neurotechnology laboratories, an upper garden and a lower garden provide an opportunity for reflection. It really feels open and, and grand. I definitely think differently when I'm in the building. More creative, you have a sense of freedom. It has windows. We work in a basement right now. <laughs> windows are pretty awesome. The faculty offices are arranged around the perimeter people from different disciplines that normally don't mix. And we hope that through casual interactions, new science will appear. We can knock on each other's doors when we're deeply excited or deeply confused. And you get a tutorial from the world's expert on that topic. But then there's also is this ability to dream together, right? Like you can talk to your colleagues about some crazy idea and they will say, oh yeah, that's an interesting idea. Let me put my spin on it. I'm a human neuroscience person flanked by a person working on flies and mice and a person working on robots and AI. I think that interplay will ultimately yield the greatest breakthroughs. It's like an idea factory. This building brings together investigators with very different perspectives using the most modern instrumentation and its influence we felt across the Caltech community. Catapulting progress. We are trying to understand how life starts. We would be able to recreate the formation of the brain from the very beginning with stem cells. We want to understand how the brain models the visual world and creates our conscious percept, pushing forward our understanding of the brain as a system. We've been able to design spaces in the building that really suit the needs that we have to make breakthroughs. In our case, we're interested in sleep. We're building a microscope that can image all neurons in the brain every second. This is the golden age of social science from the point of view of technology. We can use brain imaging as well as patient populations to improve self-control, health, wealth, and impact people's everyday lives. We're interested in how insects fly. Ultimately, what we're looking for are specific algorithms that an animal can use to accomplish a goal. We pioneered this field called spatial genomics. To use imaging to do genomics directly in situ is something very crucial to understanding how the cells communicate and how they make decisions. We are able to fine-tune gene delivery vectors. They can cross the blood-brain barrier, access the deepest areas of the brain to deliver research tools or therapies. We can show in the laboratory that brain-machine interfaces work. We can measure intent, decode that signal, and use it to control computers or robot limbs. We've also advanced the study now, so it not only controls the limb, but it can feel. I'm actually working to get recordings off of patients that suffer from diseases like depression and epilepsy and try to come up with a paradigm to stimulate the brain to actually help people lead a more normal life. When I walk up the spiral staircase here in the middle of the building to get to my office and it opens up and I have the skylight above, it makes me feel inspired. You have this sense that there are completely unanticipated breakthroughs. I have no idea what they're going to be, but I look forward to being here with them we will find things that we could never imagine. Not only will we gain insight 
into how we think, how we feel, how we make decisions, but there are opportunities to develop new kinds of medicines to treat disorders like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, autism, and the list goes on. The Chen Building is gonna help us enormously. That gives extraordinary scientists the tools to make discoveries and the companionship of colleagues that will force new directions, develop new paradigms. The gift that they've given will stay with me forever. It's really what it signifies, which is a dream to understand the brain and to understand ourselves. Because it is so open, it is glass, you can just see inside. There's a sense of the science that we're creating isn't just for us. It doesn't stop there, it continues on, and it will impact millions and millions of people.